about flow is that it's not necessarily about the tricks. It's about all the tricks and how they come together. When you're watching a good flow, you almost don't even realize that a certain trick has been done because it's all just blending together. And as you're exiting one movement, you're starting the next one before you even realize that the first one ended. You're hitting the gap before you finish the roll. You're power looping up and all of a sudden this other thing comes out and it's just that point where you almost become semi-autonomous. Your hands are moving and the drone is moving before you even think exactly what you're doing. But it's you, you're the one that's in control, but it's, it's just not conscious. It's, it's almost the purest sense of pilot expression because it's just, it's just whatever's inside you coming out through the drone before you even really know what you're doing. As I'm walking through a place like this, it, there's endless possibilities of stuff I can do from just a simple grid. Power loops, splittices, matty flips, dives, backwards dives, all of that stuff. And with flow, I think it's all about linking those tricks together in a very smooth manner. Like, I don't even want to know that you did the trick, really. I just want it to link all together super smooth. Typically, also, there is not many sharp flips or something like that. So I think if you think of a roller coaster, a roller coaster can't flip 180 super fast. It's all about smooth. It's basically like you're on rails. So there's this line I've been trying to make happen. I think it'd be really good to start kind of coming in up this driveway. Hit that little billboard, just do something on it, whether it's a power loop or a gap hit or whatever. Then what I want to do, and this is like exactly what I'm talking about, making one thing link into the next in like a really like surprising way, is I want to go up and I want to go through the gap at the top of the building and like go through the gap inverted. And then right as you crest through that gap, it's gonna be like, where are you going, where are you going? Well, there's no roof. So then shoot through the scaffolding, play around in this room for a little bit, pop up, pop out, and then work my way over to the other building. And then basically just keep that line going as long as possible. And if I can make it a 45 second or longer line, then it's one that I can use. So there are many different types of spots that kind of tend a little bit more towards each style of flying. So with flow, the perfect spot, in my opinion, is like a, a spot that has a bunch of gaps that you can hit. So like I know there's Spang, which is just open field flying, and flow does, doesn't work in the open field because there's nothing really to fly around. With flow, it's all proximity-based, so I need 
a cool bando to fly around. Is that the one you did? That's the one I, I didn't, I don't, I don't, I've never looked at it like that. Oh my God. Wow. I'm so good. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it into a line. Nope, it was sloppy. <laughs> so there, it was like a sick trick, and it's just useless now. Yeah. So I, Cause I, like it wasn't long enough of a line. Like I could put that on Instagram if I want, but it's not gonna help my flight video. That's my flow. I think it's like the hardest style of flying to do. Like maybe just visually it doesn't look that difficult, but when you're trying to link a minute line together, yeah. it's three tips that would help someone specifically improve their flow style flying? I think lowering the rates is one. Cause I, oh, okay. I, know, I know a lot of people are running like 900 degrees per second. I mean, yeah. what, do you, what do you run? Uh, I think I'm pretty close to 900 actually. Okay. Okay. Um, but I used to run rates that were considered low. Minor. And then everyone else came down and now I have somewhat high rates. I, I might lower them, but I've been flying them for so many years. I, I get what you're saying. What you're saying though is, if you're not gonna be doing lots of really fast acro, why bother Even wasting that stick resolution, right? Yeah, because yeah. with the slower rates, you get more precision on the sticks. Mm -hmm. I would say my biggest tip is to just think about lines, not singular tricks. Yeah. And how the different aspects of those lines and the different tricks fit together. Don't waste the best trick right at the beginning of the line. Yeah. If you can do the best trick in a given line near the middle or near the end, it like proves yeah. that like, oh, you didn't just keep yeah. trying that singular trick over and over. The middle is the coolest. Yeah, if, you, the, whatever, if your hottest trick is in the middle of like a long line, that's like, oh, he's, he's good. He got this, yeah, yeah, he can fly. <laughs> Another tip I have is uh, just don't overthink of it when you're flying, like right. just, just go out and fly. Like if you have a bunch of tricks that you know you want to do in your head, like if you are trying to get slow footage, it's not, it's, you're gonna be thinking about other stuff too much. Mm -hmm. I mean, you go in that flow state, you don't wanna really be thinking at all. Yeah, I think have some tricks in your in your mind, like more like in a bag. But not all of the tricks like, in a row that you want. Yeah, to like have them in a bag, mm -hmm. and as you're flowing, when you come up to that obstacle, be like, oh yeah, this yeah. is the thing that I can Matty flip. Oh, yeah. I'll just do Matty flip and I'll keep going, all right? Yeah. But I think we both find that like, if we try to like really script like power loop, Rubik's Cube, Juicy flip, like it, it just work. falls, it it just falls apart. You can't, you can't overthink it. Yeah. So guys, I hope this helped you learn a little bit about the whole flow oh. style of freestyle. This is my favorite way to fly. Me too. But we're not saying it's necessarily the best, just our favorite. There are plenty of awesome freestyles out there. What style should we have cover next? Who should we bring on? What should we talk about? I mean, I would love to learn more about flying juicy or maybe Spang. cinematic. Spang. What is Spang? Is this something new? It's something new. That's new, been, new style. Yeah, it's been catching fire, man. That's the coolest part. Is there new styles apparently being invented every day. <laughs> yeah. There is no limit to how you fly freestyle. It's all up to what you want to do. That's the best part of flying FPV freestyle. I love this hobby. Hope you guys get out and enjoy it too. I'm Ladrib. I'm Bobby FPV. We'll see you next time on Rotorat. Mm -hmm.